In this video, I will show you how to install the software and do some experiment with this small board that contain RISC 5 processor and some Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection. I choose this product from here, but uh, this particular one contains the RISC 5 core. The board contains several things. First, it is connected to your computer system that will be used to program it through micro USB port. And it has two switch. On the bottom one is a boot button. You, you click it when you want to download the program to it. And on the top is a reset switch. Once you finish downloading, you just restart the program by pushing this reset button, okay? It also has uh, two display. One is the power on LED. Once you connect it, it will lit up in red light. And the other one is a general purpose uh, LED, which have uh, RGB. So you can mix uh, the color on, on this one under your program. And this is the, the main chip, right? Which uh, contain the processor core. Okay, so full documentation is here. Uh, it is a ESP32C3, enlarge it a bit, and you can see that the core system is actually 32-bit RISC 5. Okay, and it has a Wi-Fi module and also radio module that uh, can do Bluetooth as well. And including other peripheral, if you like a real-time clock and ordinary uh, embedded system function. All right, so that's, that is what is small module contain, right? So uh, what I want to do is to choose the appropriate software and demonstrate some a simple uh, Wi-Fi application. I choose the, uh, the software called the suite called Arduino because it's uh, the easiest way to program this kind of module. And it is so widely available. You can get, you can grab the uh, Windows zip file from here. And also for other platform like uh, Mac OS or Linux. So I already download here and extract you to some directory that you choose. Once we unzip, we will go there. And the, the one that we executable is, is the one here. I will make a shortcut and drop that onto my desktop. Now that we have a fresh IDE, we have to install the package for this module. So I get into additional board manager in the preference and now the, we choose the board manager and try to install ESP32 from that URL. So we search for the one, all right? So let's install the simple one, 2.0.0, and install it. Wait until it finish. Please uh, notice that this include the ESP32-C3, which is our model, right? Once the package has been complete, then this IDE will be able to um, communicate with the module. And it also includes some programming example which we will use. Now the package has been installed. 
select the correct uh, board for these tools. Okay, so we can now see they, they appear the ESP32. Okay, the ESP32C3. So we select this one. Okay, you can you can see that uh, the information appear on the bottom line that is already know about this board. Let's have a look, right? You can see the information about this board appear inside the IDE. It is, uh, the board is ESP32 and it communicates with such a speed and it, well, the, C, the processor frequency is 160 megahertz and so on. It have the, the memory of a, a four megabyte. We will choose some example program. Okay, so, right, uh, which is including with the, the package. And what we can do, we will try some Wi Fi. And the simple, simplest thing is uh, scanning the Wi Fi access point around. First of all, let's uh, discuss what this program do. Um, the setup is the function that we run once in the beginning to setting all the configuration for the hardware module. So the, we set up the Wi-Fi such that it is in the station mode and then it, it disconnect from all the, all the access point pre which it have connect previously. We also do a, a serial port output, which is included in the IDE. So that we can see the output printed from the program. Okay, so let's now have a look at the main program. Main program is just uh, the main line is here. It uses scan network. So it collect all the information of the access point around you. Okay, and then it print out the SSID and print out the RSSI. Okay. But before we do that, we have to power up the, the module using this uh, USB wire. And the other end, I will connect that to my uh, computer uh, USB port. Okay. Once the, the power of this module come from this uh, wire. So once it's plugged in, it's already powered up. Okay, you can see from here that the red light already lit. Um, I got a bit of warning. Now the, the board is power on. That you have to be careful not to short the, all these uh, connector. Okay, right. For example, if you, if you touch it with some some metal strip, like a, a surface of the tabletop, or foil, or screwdriver, it might short the circuit and fry your board. So now it's a, a power on. Be careful. I put it on the top of um, a paper box, so it should be okay. Okay. So before we compile and download, we have to do. Uh, resetting the board. So at first I, I click, I do a click here, right? The, the reset button. Now the board has reset and then we click the boot. It's ready to receive the download signal. Okay, to do that, we just click the upload from IDE that we use and the, the program will compile, and then the machine code will be chipped and send it to the uh, serial port. Now it's compiling the program. This is uh, a special version of a uh, C language built for the framework of the Arduino. So you can program a several different boards using the same interface. Zero port not select. Wow. Okay. So we have, I forgot to 
choose the zero port. Okay, so port. All right, so I have to choose the COM5. Okay, now I select the zero port uh, of the computer to be communicated with this one and just uh, repeat. Okay, upload again. All right, the message keep coming. So it's 20%. 30%, 40, and so on, until it get all the matching code to the board. And right, it will say hard reset, okay, the board, and then it will start to work. And um, before we start to run the board, we want to see the output from the board. So we use a, a serial terminal, okay? that is uh, capture the output from this uh, port. Okay, so we use serial monitor here. You can see that uh, at first it contain a lot of gibberish. Okay, uh, because uh, we have to set the bit, uh, bit rate or the speed of communication. In our program, we have written 115 to 100, right? So let's choose that one. Okay, and clear the gibberish. All right. And now we click the reset on our board. All right. And you can see that the, the, the module start working and uh, we scan the access point of Wi Fi around me. And, and sometimes it's very weak um, minus uh, 90 decibel. I think it's, it's not very. Is I have no antenna attached to this Wi-Fi module, so it can it can it is not very sensitive, right? So sometimes it miss, sometimes it got it. All right. So this is how the the board work. You can play with it easily. I hope you enjoy doing this kind of experiment. Bye bye. See you next time.